Well then, looks like it's time to get back into rants. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Turkey Tom, and today I'm going to be talking about slideshow commentaries. For anyone who doesn't already know, the slideshow commentary genre is a subgenre of the larger commentary community, which oftentimes will focus on anime and cartoons, but does also have a wider range of topics. As I'm sure you've already guessed from the title of the video, no, I am not a fan of these videos at all, and so I will explain why I have such a problem with these videos today. But, as always, this does not mean that I hate all commentary channels in this genre. In fact, I think I can think of a few good channels like Doodle Tones that do a pretty good job, but there is such an overwhelming amount of crap in this community that I felt the need to cover it. My biggest problem with this community is that many of the videos are very lazily made. A great example of this is a channel with just over 200 subscribers named The Conundrum. If you look at his videos, they all share roughly the same level of quality, meaning that there is no quality at all. He uses the Riddler from Batman as his avatar and essentially just records unedited commentary audio and then edits it into Movie Maker over pictures of the Riddler, which are s seemingly placed at random. This is a trend that you'll notice a lot in this particular community. They use a fictional character from animation and lazily edit it into their videos. I mean, you could at least make your own avatar like I do, or commission someone to do it for you. Unfortunately, while I do appreciate the channels that do put in the time and effort to make their own avatars, I feel that they are often simply awful looking, or at least rough on the eyes, such as the avatar that Doodle Tones uses, and the absolutely horrendous character that character stills that Sookie FNAF uses. Channels like Commentarian, a channel I've covered in the past, also share the same quality. The videos are lazy, and oftentimes the opinions they display aren't enough to make up for the bad visuals. Now, it's possible that these videos will be better if the visuals had something better, to, something to do with what was being talked about, but that's just not the case. Drop it. Going back to Conundrum's channel, here's a clip from his video. The question is, when is a topic or target for commentary becomes either dead or no longer relevant? I've seen many newcomers like myself create commentaries on cold case targets or topics of ban or bandwagons. I mean, seriously, what does the Riddler, smiling with sunglasses on, have to do with what is being discussed here? I honestly just don't get it. And it seems that a bunch of other people like these videos, judging by the fact that this guy has 203 subscribers. I don't know. To be honest, am I just a cynical asshole? Or do other people agree with me too? Because there is a huge abundance of these channels. Channels which do nothing but promote pure laziness. I think that I would rather watch Morka Blam Bandicoot 64 than watch any of these slideshow commentary videos again. Mm-hmm. 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 Mmm. Very thick. And, while here, I've only chosen to show us a very select few of these channels, there is a vast amount of these weeaboo commentary channels, such as Scarlet Otaku, Syndicate of Outcasted Commentators, Nightmare Kagamine, Linigai34, Azelf101, okay, scratch that last one, actually. At this point, Azelf has transcended the level of weeaboo and is on some sort of higher anime fangirl plane. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, and if you didn't enjoy it and or disagreed with any of my opinions, I would really appreciate a comment um, in the comment section explaining what you think I can do to improve your experience with my videos. Turkey Tom, out.